He's a former member of the FBI Terror Task Force at the FBI and, of course, Terry Turchi, a former deputy assistant director of the counterterrorism division of the FBI. Uh, gentlemen, this is wild. Now, it took the FBI 20 years to track down the Unabomber. How the heck did they find this guy so quickly? Terry. Well, this is a very interesting uh, week. We've heard all kinds of theories and everything, but all of us have reminded people that uh, it's really tremendous when you can find intact devices. And also, uh, on any case, no matter how complicated, you have to make sure you stay with shoe leather and police work and, and pay attention to the tedious. And what do we hear now today? We hear that on one of these devices, the FBI lab was able to pull a fingerprint. And, uh, you know, Theodore Kaczynski was never arrested and fingerprinted. And uh, this man, of course, has been arrested. If uh, intact devices rather than debris, you're going to certainly increase your chances of getting the, the old-fashioned uh, kind of traditional kind of evidence that we've talked about for decades. And uh, that's what I think uh, brought this all together with all the other great work that everyone has done. Yeah, well, we were seeing his mug shot throughout the years. That's an old mug shot from a few years back. He's aged quite a bit since then. Uh, Thomas, <laughs> I, I, I want to go to you. Um, this, this was considered by uh, IED experts and, and, and bomb detonation uh, experts to have been kind of a rudimentary device. And it was even called kind of fake and, a, and, a, and kind of a hoax device. But today, you heard Chris Ferreira of the FBI saying this, is not, this was not a hoax device, and he called it an IED. So what did they discover that we didn't know yesterday when many were, were kind of dismissing this? Steve, excuse me, Steve, go oh. ahead. Well, what we know today is that, uh, indeed, there's always a danger to these uh, uh, devices, but they were able to pick up the uh, DNA, a fingerprint, uh, and uh, look, the police are going to be looking to see if anyone else is involved. But I, I've got to uh, just capture this one, one point that uh, you made. What led to the rapid uh, uh, apprehension of this individual? I got to tell you, uh, uh, President Trump, when he quickly decided to uh, uh, galvanize law enforcement agencies from the federal government to the local government, he deployed thousands of people, thousands of man hours. This would have taken weeks. But because of that one decision, he had a very good cooperative network of law enforcement agencies that led us to where we are today. And that's something that I don't think we should miss. Well, uh, the president spoke about this earlier today, gentlemen. I want to play uh, some of that for you, get your reaction. We must never allow political violence to take root in America. Cannot let it happen. And I'm committed to doing everything in my power as president to stop it and to stop it now. I want to applaud the FBI, Secret Service, the Department of Justice, the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of New York, the NYPD, and all law enforcement throughout the entire country. It's a needle in a haystack. How do you do this so quickly? They've done an incredible, incredible job, and I want to congratulate them. And Terry, this had really terrorized uh, people in politics and, of course, uh, over at CNN. They were doing their shows from the streets. Uh, and, and the country kind of watches this. How is this even possible? An individual can mail or distribute these types of packages to different people from basically the same political backdrop. And yet you could find this person within 72 hours. You wouldn't have been able to do so, correct, if it weren't for that long rap sheet that he had, or one arrest, where you get that bit of a fingerprint. It would have taken much longer to find him. It most likely would have, but uh, fortunately, uh, if you have to have crimes committed, package bombs, bombs put in the mail, are uh, crimes that can be solved pretty fast. And the tradition and the history is that they are. We have a, an agency we don't talk about very much, and we came to have the greatest respect for these people uh, during Unibom, and that was the Postal Inspection Service. They can actually look at an envelope, and you'd just be uh, amazed at the kind of things they can tell you. Uh, from the surface of the envelope, from the stamps to the time the, the envelope was sent to where it was put in the mail stream. And then you go back and you start to recreate that. Because remember, in package bombings or in, in any kind of mail bomb uh, or any uh, crime using the mail, the crime actually be began when it was placed in the mail stream. So you go back and make up a lot of ground, and the Postal Service helps do that. And now incredible. in this day and age, uh, you can have cameras back at those origins. So, yes, it is incredible. They're a great agency, and we don't talk about them enough. Oh, I'm glad you did that. Thank you, gentlemen, for your comments tonight. Now, here to break down how this has all played out politically over the past few days, I'm joined by American conservative.